Well, that doesn't seem right. What happens if I build another one? We'll do the same thing over there. Ha ha! Now, that's a blender. <laughs> what? Why is this a thing? Welcome back to the tower. That's yeah, looking pretty good. Although, I am kind of sad that I called it a tower because no, it is not a tower just yet. It's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only like nine floors high. It needs to be bigger, much bigger, infinitely bigger. And today, we're going to have to do the second. I was almost about to say the second level, but the second. Mm, what's the way to put it? Structure of it. Just a quick message before we begin. If you like everything that's been going on, do think about subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot. A lot of hard work goes into these videos, and if you've been coming back and seeing everything, and you definitely want to see what's going on in the future, please subscribe. It really does mean a lot, and it lets me be able to do this more often and make a lot better videos. But other than that, let's get into the video because everything is ready to go. So, first off, we're going to have to cap it off just one more. So, let's go zoop, and I have a special zoop on, where I can go even farther than the normal zoop. There we go. And the reason we're going this high is so we can actually vent off some steam. There we go. And then, of course, we're going to have to do these four meters. This one right here. Because we got to keep our pattern going. Oh, this one's going to be fun. Four meters. And there we go. And then I'm going to delete this. So this is going to be where our cap is. So how tall is this one section? 40. Because we're going to have to get this one too. So 40 tall. You know what would be really cool? I just thought of it. What if, because this is all the ingots, right? What if I raise this about, let's say, vertical... Let's do seven. That'd be a good cut. And then we'll go back in here, and then right here. Oh, come on. This zoop is amazing, but at the same time, it's a little finicky. Because if you aim at the wrong area, you're screwed. So what if I keep this right here, make something really cool to kind of show the difference from this one to this one, and then I go up, well, let's see, right there. If I can start building a second floor and then actually going up here and making this one, what do you want to call it? Uh, let's go to production. If I can do like the constructor, the assembler, manufacturer, that kind of stuff, like the second tier items, iron plates, iron rods, reinforced iron plates, rotors, stators, cable, all that stuff. If I could make that in here and then do another cut and do the really crazy ones up there, oh, that'd be so cool. But quick thing, what am I going to do for this? So we got seven high, but if I make like a circle around here mess with that hmm. I'm gonna play around with it and see what I come up with and done what do you think a, a, a bit too much maybe dude actually I wonder how this looks in the dark hold on let's manipulate time and space da 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 hey, we'll go 10 o'clock Ooh, Fonse. This took way longer than I anticipated. Way longer than it should have. But it does look really nice. So, you know, it is what it is. No, I'm not OCD. You're OCD. Uh, mm. Mm. 
it, it, it's, uh, it's uh, okay. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother. It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And I just... Oh, I could just type it in. Okay. 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 So it's noon. All right. All right. And that takes care of step number one. Oh. Oh, I forgot to collect these. Eh. We'll just delete a couple in here and then... Into the void. 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 And then we're going to start building on here. Check out this progress. Ironically enough, in the time it took me to create this whole circular thing, that equates to absolutely nothing but pretty light, I was able to make one, two, three, four, five and a half floors. And I got all the way up to the waterfall. Hooray! Now I can see over the vast landscape. Hey! I can see my house from here. But alas, what has gone on so far? What did I do? What? Ca how can we follow along at home? Well, ironically enough, you can't. I mean, you probably could. I mean, if you're, you know, eagle-eyed viewer. Like, check this out. We have steel coming in. And that steel is over here. And that is being made into... What do we call them? Steel pipes. As long as... Not as long as, as well as steel beams. And all those get put up, get merged together, and go off into the void. Upstairs! Hmm. And those are sent upstairs and away. So we have one merger right here, and then we have one merger right here. One for the beams, and one for the pipes. Oh, and another one over here, and guess what this one's doing? This one's going up, up, and away. But we haven't got to that floor yet. For the next floor, this was being made into the iron. What did I do over here? Was it plates? Oh yeah, I just made a lot of plates. A bunch of plates. So that's all plates going all the way down there. And then if I scoot to the other side, we have copper sheets. All the way down. Both of those merge up there and go to the top. And it really, really does have that nice, nice OCD feeling. That, uh, symmetry. Symmetry, that's the word. And then we go up to the next floor. And in this floor, we're taking Caterium. Off to both sides. But what are we making with all this Caterium? Why, none other than Quickwire. And, and, this is a special one, an alt recipe for Caterium ingots into wire. Which is great, because I have five of them over here making 600 wire. Because we could use all the wire we can get. And, and, I mirrored it on the other side. Yay. So now we have a bunch of uh, quick wire as well as this. I had to go two, uh, what is it, two lifts on this one. Because, let's face it, 600 and 600, that's a lot of wire. But then we go up one more. And what are we doing? Sorry, we're gonna have to go to the front. It's easier to see from the front or middle. But I am taking aluminum, aluminium, and we're ooh, almost got hit there. And we are going up, and we're. Oh wait, which way did I go? Oh yeah, I went under, and then over, and then in. So one side is making aluminum cases, a whole bunch of those, and then. Which was really cool because I was able to fit it in there. I am making alclad aluminum sheets. But wait, I hear you say in my head because I hear voices. What about the copper ingots? I know, right? Well, funny story. Where was it? This floor. This floor right here. So each one of these only takes 20 copper ingots. And I have 10 of them. So that's only 200 copper ingots. And if I go all the way down there, which I'm not going to because I'm lazy, uh, I'm only making like 400? Sure, why not? That seems like a number. So these only need about 10 per, and I got about 4 here, 4. So this is another 80. So I'm definitely making enough ingots to last on this. So this is no problem whatsoever. So 
Then we get to the next floor, and this one is making wire into cable. Where am I getting that wire? Well, my line of wire. It just comes down, goes over, and gets split off into each one. And then comes down into cable, and... Did I not put the cable back up? Oh, that's crazy. I have screws. That's going in. And then I have... Whatchamacallit, uh, iron rods, and that's going in. How did I not get the thing? And it was supposed to go right in here, too. That's crazy. Maybe one down from here. And then which way did I go? Alright, alright, alright. You guys see? See? See, this is why I have to show this off so I can figure out what the hell I'm doing. One, two. No, wait. One, two, two. There we go. And then, of course, you're going to come around here and you're going to go all the way down. And then there's a center, so that's going to be right here. And you're going to go over one, two. So it's going to be right in the middle of here. Oh, oh, that's going to be interesting. What's an easy way to do this? So maybe, yep. And then we press H, and then we press scoot, scoot. And then we press R to make it zoop, zoop. Maybe that high, maybe that'll work. And then you can come over here. And then you can go in there. Perfect. El perfectico. And then we're up to this floor where we finally got into all these different assemblers. So, what do we need in the assemblers? Uh, no, no, no. God, no. Maybe? But I'm not even making either one of those items. Um, so, first thing's probably going to be reinforced iron plates, modular frames, in case industrial beams. Uh, got those, got those, got it, got it, got it, need it, got it. Uh, okay, and then there's computer tab. Oh, that's going to suck. Ooh, circuit boards made from petroleum coke. That might be fun. Or quick wire and plastic. Where this one's kind of good. Oh, I got that one. And I got that one. And I'm going to need stuff. So, yeah, now we start getting to the real meat and potatoes. And I don't have much si size left. Though, I could be making a bunch of different floors of assemblers. And we're going to have to expand out on these because I'm going to need a lot of them. But I should be able to finish off the rest of this just with assemblers. And then we can work our way towards... Well, probably going to build another one of these in the middle. And then go up to the next one. What fun will that be? Well, that doesn't seem right. What happens if I build another one? We'll do the same thing over there. Ha-ha! Now, that's a blender. <laughs> what? Why is this a thing? Oh, fun, fun. Oh, well, while I'm here, I've, I've, I've built a couple more layers. Where, where did we end off at? I don't even know anymore. By the way, well, didn't mean to do that. So, everything's looking pretty smooth, right? And it's looking really good. And then we go up to like a floor like this. And it's... Like, you can't even move in here. <laughs> but it is OCD friendly. I mean, it, everything fits. There's no clipping whatsoever. That's good. But each floor only makes about four items. So like in case industrial beams. And then we got staters. And then I think over here we got them rotors. Rotors, yes, and then what is... Oh, this is reinforced iron plates, but because I got the rubber and I got the plastic mixed together, it's kind of uh, being a little bit finicky right now. Then we go up and we got our wonderful heat sinks. By the way, this floor is less confusing. It works out a little bit better, but is still a little bit confusing. Then we got our circuit boards, so we got that, so we're going to make our computers, and then over here I think we got AI limiters. AI limiters, yes, we can limit the AI, and 
This one's making modular frames, but because the reinforced iron plates are kind of stalled right now, that seems to be a problem. Then I came up here, and I was trying to figure out how much more I need out of here. So if we look at this, don't need any of this. Let's see, don't need containers, don't need that, don't need that. Electromagnetic control rods, I put one of those over there. Alright. Other than that, I don't need to make either one of those. Everything here is being made. Everything here is being made except for the crystal computers and the OC supercomputer. Which is going to be made in the manufacturer, I think. I could make these, but then I have to bring the stuff from the top back down. Because if you look at the recipe for it, it needs something out of the blender, which is the cooling system, which is only made in the blender. And then we need this. Radio control unit switch. Manufacture. Well, yeah, we can make it those other manufacturer. And then the crystal computers, kind of the same issue with the crystal oscillator. There we go. Manufacture for that as well. So I need manufacturers to make either one of these. Then we look down here, we got the heat sinks, we got this, this, we need the motors. So I only need two more things. I can make a whole floor just of this stuff right here if I wanted to. And then of course I don't need any ammunition. So yeah, there was only two more things, then I was trying to see how well I could fit a manufacturer, then I see what I need in a blender, and then the blenders just started blending. They just started blending everything. Uh. Alright, enough of that. So, this is going to be difficult. I still got some room, too. Oh, I could extend. Imagine. Oh, you know what I thought? What if I move the floors just like one extra space higher? You know, just kind of give myself more room to work. That would probably be... Let's see. So, if you're... All right, let's see, so one, two. How many floors do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would bring this floor up to here, and then a one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I could have a bigger... Oh, could you imagine moving all this stuff up? Ah. Uh, uh, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Screw that. Took forever building this thing, and I don't want to do it anymore. All right, let's keep good. Keep building. Let's just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep focusing. Finish a goddamn project. Boy, howdy. Take a look at that. That is everything we are making. Hoo-wee. And I still have room to grow. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this area... We make this a storage room. Leave this under there. So, like, let's say, what's our normal stat? So, one, two, three. So, that would be our normal stat. Make this default. So, starting from here, going all the way across, that would be a big open area that we would have all this stuff in. A nice little area that I could just stand here and look out into the distance. Every, well, almost every conceivable place, but yeah before we have to go up to the next level. Here's the question. Do I want to see this? Because let's say, let's say for example, you know what, let's go one more higher, just to be safe. Okay, and then we'll go three over. And somehow we'll build it so that we can have all these bins up here as well. And then what I can do is maybe take this one we're going to go for a two slabber. What do we go here? And just zoom this across. Oh, come on. Got to aim it right. And then what I can do is architecture, glass, maybe. You know what? One, two, three, four. Something like this. Have the glass in between here. Actually, have the glass one underneath. Right here. Going all the way across. 
Wow, why did I accidentally push the wrong button? I don't know. Maybe it's because it's so next to each other. Or I'm so used to it. Okay, so then you're gonna go over here, and then you're gonna come down. And what I wanna do is I wanna put some lights across here. So, Mr. Zero. Now that is interesting, the two meter sign. Do we have anything else? Two meter, one meter, two meter, three meter. Nah, because then that puts it like at a weird odd number. Two by two, we'll go across there. And then, of course, this one could go across down, but unfortunately would stick out a lot. Didn't I have this color somewhere? Hmm. Oh, yeah. I know where I had this. Hold on. Wee, wee. Copy. Ooh, I love this area. Oh, oh wait, that was the wrong size. Ah, bollocks. Okay, but something like that going across. And then I would need something to fill in this space with. Because I guess I could put a one. I have it right here. And then this one going across. Kind of like a stair stepping thing. I mean, that's not bad. I wonder if I can put any patterns on here. Nope. Dang it. Why do the half ones not have patterns? But yeah, I can fiddle with this, see what I come up with, and maybe make something kind of interesting to have all the different containers on. Ooh. Give me a second. Let me see what I come up with. There we go. It's done. Doesn't it look amazing? Even have all this stuff down here coming right up and filling everything out. Now, I did make this into a longer video. If you guys want to see it, you can check it out. Uh, link will be in the description where you can actually see me build it just straight on. I think it took me like two and a half hours, an hour and a half or something like that. But boy, does it look amazing. Wait, something's wrong. Oh, yes, that's right. Ooh. We gotta add the beautiful Lumos to it. So, yes, now it looks so much better, but also runs like trash. Oh! Contact shadows and whatnot. But that does look amazing. Have each one of the bins marked, and... Let's run up. So, let's say I come in here and I need to go grab some stuff. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, here's my iron rods. Oh, yeah, grab these, grab these, all this stuff. I can grab everything easily. Now, what about this giant hole in the wall? <laughs> well, funny story. Whoa, I thought it was flying. I'm going to build the outside at the very end. That's going to be the big old end to it all. But I bet you're asking yourself one question. Is this it? Is it over? Is the tower complete? And the answer to that is no. See this thing right down here? This whole little circle thing? I'm going to rebuild that up there. And we will go to floor number three. And what's going to be in floor number three? Well, I have everything from constructors to assemblers. So the next floor above that is going to have da -da 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 manufacturers. Yep. So on the final floor, I want to get stuff like maybe I'll be able to build turbo motors, but I can have batteries in there. Oh, I don't have any sulfur. Heavy modular frames. Yes, definitely. Supercomputers. Don't see why not. Computers. Crystal oscillators. Radio control units. Um, I have one, two, three, four? I think I have the four. Just the four of these wonderful things. Uh, wait, wait, da, 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 da. What's the fourth one? Somewhere around here. Ah, assembly director system. 
No, I didn't build that, did I? Nah, I had just three then. Sorry, let me just check real quick. Yeah, I have versatile framework, smart plating, and do I not have automated wire? Did I not make automated wire? Oh, automated wire. Okay, so I got three. I have three of them, which means I still need four more. So I have these three. So I need one, two, three, four. That's to be fun. Not worried about any of the nuclear stuff. But, you know, this thing right here, and and that'll be it for those. But I'm going to have to take care of that on a different day. I feel like I've built enough, and it's going to take me a while just to rebuild that up there. And I doubt any of you guys want to see that again. I don't even know if I want to build again. But that's going to be it. And in the next episode, I should do the final part of the tower. And then the one after that, we're definitely going to be building the rest of this. The outside and everything. And I need a name for the tower. What is going to be the name for the tower? Please leave your ideas in the comment section if you could. Other than that, I have been and always will be Drawing Chaos. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.